Hello, and welcome to today's video presentation on adding a disk to an existing KVM virtual machine. This video will step through the creation of the new virtual disk and then attach it to an existing KVM VM. So let us get started. For this demo, I use an Oracle Linux 8 instance deployed in the Oracle Cloud infrastructure, pre-configured with the KVM virtualization packages, and an Oracle Linux 8.2 guest VM named OL8-KVM. Dash zero 01. Open a terminal and verify the directory location of the default storage pool. Type sudo space versh space pool dash list space dash dash all to get a listing of the available storage pools. Next, type sudo space versh space pool dash dump xml space default. The output provides the default storage pool definition, including the directory path forward slash var forward slash lib, forward slash libvert, forward slash images. Next, determine the size disk needed and create the disk image. For this example, create a disk image of 5 gig in size in either RAW or QCOW2 format. If creating a RAW image, type either sudo space QEMU dash IMG space create space dash F space RAW space forward slash var forward slash lib, forward slash libvert, forward slash images, forward slash ol8 dash kvm dash 01 dash disk 01 dash 5 capital G space 5 capital G. Or sudo space dd space if equals forward slash dev forward slash 0 space of equals forward slash var forward slash lib, forward slash libvert, forward slash images, forward slash ol8 dash kvm dash 01 dash disk 01 dash 5 capital G space bs equals 1 capital M space count equals 5120 space status equals progress. The benefit of using a raw image, the default for kvm, is the format is simple and easily exportable to other hypervisors. However, for this demo, I use the more versatile QEMU image format, or QCOW2. The QCOW2 format provides the benefit of later utilizing VM snapshots or AES encryption. Create the disk by typing sudo space QEMU dash IMG space create space dash F space QCOW2 space dash o space size equals 5 capital G space forward slash var forward slash lib forward slash libvert forward slash images forward slash ol8 dash kvm dash 01 dash disk 02 dash 5 capital G dot qcow2. Next, check the disk image information and ensure it created correctly. Type sudo space qemu dash img space info space forward slash var forward slash lib forward slash libvert forward slash images forward slash ol8 dash kvm dash 01 dash disk 02 dash 5 capital G dot qcow2. The output shows the file format as qcow2. The virtual size displays as 5.0 gig which is the disk size reported to the VM when attached. Then the disk size shows the physical amount of space used on the host system. Now with the disk created, attach the disk to the VM. Ensure your VM is running by typing sudo space versh space list space dash dash all. If the VM is not running, start it by typing sudo space versh space start space ol8 dash kvm dash 01. This VM uses the default NAT virtual network. Once started, SSH into the VM by typing SSH space OL8 dash KVM dash 01. From within the guest VM, check the naming convention of the current disk by typing LSBLK to get a listing of the block devices attached. The output shows the disk name as VDA. Now return to the host and attach the additional disk image previously created. Type sudo space versh space attach dash disk space dash dash persistent space dash dash subdriver space qcow2 
space ol8 dash kvm dash zero one space forward slash var forward slash lib forward slash libvert forward slash images forward slash ol8 dash kvm dash zero one dash disk zero two dash five capital g dot qcow two space vdb the dash dash persistent option attaches the disk in the live vm and adds it to the vm config using this option is equal to passing both the dash dash live and the dash dash config options to versh attach dash disk and ensures the disk remains attached to the vm after a reboot or shutdown the dash dash subdriver qcow2 option clarifies the disk image is in qcow2 format using this option ensures when the disk is attached that the VM correctly recognizes the size of the virtual disk. Passing VDB is the next available device following the current disk naming convention. Later, additional disks get attached by passing VDC, VDD, and so on. After executing the command, the output shows the disk attached successfully. Go back to the guest VM and type lsblk. The disk is listed and appears as VDB. Now the disk can be partitioned and formatted as needed. That completes this demo of creating a disk image and adding it to an existing KVM virtual machine for additional storage. Thank you for watching this video and enjoy using KVM on Oracle Linux.